Hi there, I'm Meg Fur. Thanks for being here today. And today I'm going to show you something really, really cool. Um, it's something that is often a problem for people. We we want to be able to um, do upwards redstone transmission. Um, it's not hard to do particularly, but um, it can be a bit painful and it can be a bit slow if you're building torch towers and, and the like. So I'm going to show you today something which is one wide and will give you pretty much instant redstone transmission from bedrock right up to build limits. So this will work um, in your world in bedrock edition. I, I do have a bit of a question about whether it's a bug um, and it might get patched at some point, but at the moment it's working and it's really cool. So keep watching. Okay, so let's dive straight in. So really nice thing about this is you can build it any way you like in your world, uh, from bedrock to any height you want, and it'll give you a vertical upward transmission to build limit. So let me place down some netherrack. And on top of that, I'm going to put some twisting vine. And I've got my tick speed turned right up. Uh, it's not necessary to have the tick speed turned up, but this is just for demonstration purposes. We can see that typically twisting vine grows quite tall. And you can grow from anywhere between 1 to 25 blocks. So um, if you've got one that's this tall, that's the maximum, oh, sorry, the minimum height that you can do your vertical transmission. But if I break it and put another one down, I'll probably find I can get a shorter one. So now I can have my vertical transmission being just six blocks high. Um, but in fact, we want it to be higher. So this one will do, though. I'm just going to bone meal it. And when I bone meal it, it grows by a number of blocks each time, and I keep bone mealing it, and it will grow and grow and grow and become very, very tall, all the way up to build limit if you want it to. So let's pop up here. I can see this is 80 odd blocks high. Let's say that I have a contraption which I want to power, which is about 80 blocks up. So let's break it off here. That will not grow anymore. Um, actually, if you're wondering why this doesn't work on Java, uh, on Java, the age of this top uh, bit of vine seems to get reset when you break it. So it carries on growing. And that means that the system doesn't work on Java. So this is a bedrock exclusive. So what I'm going to do is place two blocks on top of there. I'm going to place an observer facing into this lower block with a block behind it. And under here, I'm going to come out and I'm going to build a little platform two wide and three long. Put an extra block here and an extra block there. And what I want to do is I'm going to build a circuit now which will prevent my observer from firing multiple times. So I'm going to place a comparator down here in subtract mode. Uh, sorry, I forgot my redstone dust. Get some redstone dust and you're going to loop it round all the way like this, and then place a repeater down here on one, two, three ticks. You'll sort of repeat it here on two ticks. And over here, we're going to place our last bit of redstone dust. So now I can break this block. Like I said, this will not grow anymore by itself. And I'm going to put a, where's my piston? I'm going to put a piston just there. So facing towards the observer and into that space where this is going to grow up. This block stays there because it stops it growing any taller. And I don't need that. So the last thing to do is I'm just going to place a lamp on the end of here. And that's just to show us our circuit being powered when we're down below. So at the bottom, I need a dispenser because we're going to dispense bone meal onto this plant and put a button on there, stick some bone meal in it. And of course, bone meal is completely renewable. Um, if you watch my channel uh, quite a bit, you'll know that I've got a, a bone meal farm, which produces 7,800 per hour, but even a small crop farm will probably produce you enough bone meal um, to keep this running, depending on you know what it is you want to do with it. So I put a button on the dispenser, but again, that could be some other circuit, which is driving this. And what happens now is when I press the button, you see the lamp at the top up here comes on. Press the button, the lamp comes on. Press the button, 
the lamp comes on. If we set the time tonight, maybe that'll make it a bit more obvious as well. So midnight, press the button, the lamp comes on. There we go. Right, time set day. And um, let me show you it from the top as well. So we go back up here, because I can bone meal this um, twisting vine anywhere I like. So I can bone meal the top block if I want. So let's grab some more bone meal. I'll put it all in dispenser, so grab some more. And if I bone meal that, you'll see it grows. The piston extends to break it off again for next time, and it powers my circuit. Um, this just needs to be on two ticks to smooth it out. So if you need a one tick pulse, you'll have to put a, uh, a monostable uh, one tick pulse generator in after this. But I think that's well worth having. There are also other circuits you can use to um, stop the observer firing multiple times. This is what I'm using. But, you know, lots of melon and pumpkin farms use circuits like this. So you can look those up online as well. So you have it. So thank you guys. If you liked that video, please drop me a like. If you um, didn't like it, then just bash my face on the screen that's coming up now. That's, okay, that's the subscribe link. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, do subscribe. It would be great to have you on the channel. And I've got loads more stuff, including lots and lots of Bedrock exclusives, which um, I think you'll enjoy in your worlds. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.